Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on this duplex house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add the roofs, the floors, and the windows. And we noticed that for level 2, we have the kitchen right here and the bedroom right here without window. So what we're going to do is we're going to relocate this side to this side. So I'm going to delete this. So what will happen is this will be, this is going to be a, a bedroom. And then I'm just going to delete this. So I'm going to move this wall. We could rotate this, RO. So we're just rotating the bed. And then we can make this the walk-in closet. So I'm just going to click this wall. This, wall. this wall is wall number one. And then create similar, CS for short. So we could actually move it all the way back and this will be where the bed will sit And then let's add in a door on this side. Press spacebar to change the orientation. And then let's click this again. CS. And then another door here. We could actually just put an opening on this so we could delete this and then you could click the wall and then click on this wall opening you click one side and then around this side so that will represent a wall opening we can move it a little bit there We can actually just put this one on the same orientation before, so RO. So select that and then RO. And then let's put it back on 90 degrees and like so. We can move this more so that we could provide more closet space. And then now, what we can do is, we can add in the washroom here. So component, model in place, sorry, just click component. And then put in the toilet. And then scroll down, we can find the tub. And then the vanity. So 
we could just copy this co so we created a copy and we have enough room for this what we could do is we could select this and then move it this for our shower and we could exchange this to a double bed And then we could create, so we could have this one here. We can actually rotate this so that it's facing the window. So it's much better. So it's going to be on this side. And then let's create our closet. So you can select this. This is wall number two. Interior CS. Create similar. And just we're just going to create the closet right here. AL to align. And then add in the door, the bifold. then add in the door again make sure you have enough room like that actually still have a lot of room here they could add in a desk right here so I'm happy with this so as you can see the dimension change from what we previously created what I like about it is we have the washroom here and it doesn't have a window but now we have the room with a window and it's up to code because if you want to consider this as a bedroom in North America you will have to have a certain width and height for the window so it's just a standard window so this will be considered as a bedroom if it's right here it won't be considered as a bedroom so that's with that So now let's design more on the exterior part. So first I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to use the split command, which is this icon. So SF is a keyboard shortcut. So if you click this, it will ask you for the face that you want to split. So this is the face that I want to split. And then I'm going to use a rectangle 
and I'm gonna split it from here up to here. I'm gonna use AL. So I want I just want to align it from this line. I'm just gonna double check here. And I want to make sure it's up to here, all the way to the edge. And then I just need to click finish. And then after that, you can click on paint. So PT. So once you click that, you can choose a different material for this face, this part. So I'm going to use birch. So click birch and then click on click it on the split face and then there you go. So if we check it on our consistent color, you can see that it changed. So this is cherry and then this is birch. So let's look at it at realistic. So as you can see it's a, a different uh, material on that so let's go back again to hidden lines and then so now I just want to provide a profile for the windows so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go and use model in place and then generic model Press OK and then OK and then I'm gonna use sweep. I'm gonna sketch path. So I want this path or I'm gonna use so I'm gonna go back pick path. So I'm gonna use this. So I'm just using the edge of the window. Also gonna use it here. And the and what you have to do is you have to trim and extend. So trim and extend on this part. And then after that, click finish, edit profile, and then we're gonna create our profile right now. So this will be just a simple rectangle. At the top, it will be 50 by, let's make it 20. But I'm going to move this all the way there. So I'm going to click finish finish but we before we click finish again let's set a material so that we don't need to come back there i'm gonna use um, probably let's see gypsum wall board and then click finish and there it created a profile from there. I can see that the profile went all the way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit it quickly. And then edit this. Edit sweep. Pick path. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge it a little bit on the inside. And click finish. So once that's done, we can now go on this corner. So we're just going to do it 
on on these three windows right here. So go back to model in place, generic model, okay, it will be number two, and we're gonna use sweep again, pick path, let's do this side first. Click finish and then edit profile. We're gonna create our own profile right here. So we said it's gonna be 50 by 20. So this should be 20 and this is, should be 50. Let's move it. Click finish, finish. And just change to materials let's put it all the same and there we have it just a simple profile for this and then lastly this one the corner window Generic model, this will be generic model number three, sweep. Pick path. Let's put it started from here all the way there. So make sure to trim and extend TR or this icon. We need to connect everything. So everything is good. After that, click finish, edit profile, and then pick rectangle. And same dimension, 20 by 50. Click finish, finish. And then, lastly, the material. It looks okay, but I want the profile to be to stand out a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna edit in place edit sweep and change the profile edit profile so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this 40 by 100 click finish finish and then finish yeah so it's it's a lot it's, it's a lot better and let's do it on everything. So this will be 100. And then now this will be 40. And lastly, this one. Edit in place, click this, edit sweep, click the profile, and then you'll be able to edit the profile. And then now you just need to change the dimension or the measurement. So finish, finish, and we have it set up like that. So we have the split, we have the extrusion, the sweep, all around the, the three windows right here. And for the split, we're going to change, we, we're, we change the materials so that we could add, once we're in twin motion, we're going to add it there. So once we're here, 
let's add in some design so I'm going to use extrusion and I'm going to set it on this so give me a second I want to send an extrusion So let's go to south elevation. I want to pick a plane. I want to pick this plane. Gonna align I'm gonna set it up first so this one's an extrusion and then let me change the material for this Oh, chlorine. And let me see it on 3D. I want to extend it a little bit all the way here. And then after that, let's go back to south and create more extrusion. So with this, let's make it 150 by the length of this. And I'm going to move it something there. Click finish and I'm going to extend it more like that. And from south, let's array this. So pick last and then how many you want. So for this one, let's add in. Let's see 10. So it's kind of too far. So probably let's create 15. So it's good enough. So click finish. And let's put in some design. I'm going to edit in place. And then from here, we can add a void. void extrusion and let's set the plane 
I'm going to click the plane on the last one. And then after that, let's look at it at, I think this is west elevation. And let's add a design on that. So I'm just designing this. You stream. And then after this, Make sure this is close. Like that. And then click finish. Look at it at 3D so that you can understand it better. I'm going to edit it more. Let's trim this and fillet this. Click finish and then go to 3D. And what you have to do is you just need to extend it all the way. Click 
Click finish. And then probably you need to cut geometry on all of them. So this one's finished, so we can click finish on this, and now it looks like this. A much better look. So we're going to finish on this for now, and come back on the next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.